Welcome to H Square Channel. The DV Lottery 2021 has just been launched and we are currently playing. In this tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through the steps of properly playing the DV Lottery and having high chances of winning. When you win the DV Lottery, you're gonna, you'll be given a permanent stay in the United States, the green card, you walk and study and do whatever you want there for as long as the green card is valid for 10 years. So you want to go to www.dvlottery.state.gov where you have the assistance for to play. You visit the link and you want to make sure you read all the steps that are on this page. You screw up application entry assistance. You want to make sure you go through all this material properly. You read all the stages, all the information, just to be current of what you're doing. So there are currently uh, two ways in which you can play as a single person and as a married person or as a separated partner. If you are submitting an application for the first time, you want to play like the a primary applicant and then your wife or husband will be the secondary applicant which means you have to present each other like a pre primary applicant on different applications So two people who are married and play, the wife plays as the primary applicant and the husband comes under like the secondary applicant.
Yeah. Now I'm going to help you to go through the various stages of submitting one application for you to see. So you want to make sure you're on the page uh, www.tv lottery.state.gov Type the authentication code which you see and you hit submit you want to enter your last name which is your family name Surname. Just in case, just in case you don't have a middle name. Or a first name, you just click on the button below and the text box will be will not be active so you don't leave it blank if you don't have it you have to check the box below it for the middle name text box not to be active so when you're submitting your form you don't have an error at the level of the date of birth make sure you don't have a mistake with the month and the day some people interchange this depending on the one you frequently use in your country you may be using the day and the month but in US the month come first and the day come second so you want to take note of that Bird City similarly like the first name and the middle name if you don't have any you just want to check the box below so that the text box is not active You input your birth city in this case, and then you screw down. Let me change it to dweller. Yeah, you screw down, and then the country where you were born. You can see the list of countries here. They are in order of alphabets. All countries all over the world are listed there. You just need to search for your country. In this case, my country is Cameroon. You want to check the explanation of country of eligibility to make sure your country is eligible to submit applications for the DV lottery. 
and you need to submit the passport information. This is a new rule that has just started with the 2021 DV lottery. Last year it wasn't this this number seven the passport information wasn't there. They just added it. So it's only for people who have passports, valid passports, to submit the application. So if anybody does not have a passport, I think that person has to make one in order to be eligible to submit an application for the TV 2021. Depending on your country, the passport might be very fast. Sometimes it takes two days, three days, depending on the budget and the process involved. So you just better try to get one. And I think many people will not play this year because of that condition. And in a few that might play have higher chances of winning somehow. I just feel that way. I've been playing this thing for many, many years and winning for many people. So that's the link for the photo specifications and a tool for the photo editing you want to make sure you are using Internet Explorer it doesn't work on Google Chrome like you see my browser is Internet Explorer that tool it works only on Internet uh, Explorer smoothly maybe on Chrome you might require to install a plugin or something so here you find the photo tool at the right side of the page you just click on it you see samples of pictures there and here is the tool and to make sure you're using chrome uh, internet explorer like i said search for this photo that you've taken and saved on your computer you want to make sure the ears of the person are in between the two circles and the head and the chin are in the circular center you can zoom the picture there's a bar below just below the the, the photo tool where you can zoom the picture to adjust and make sure the ears are aligned in between the the center of the oval you see you can go back and forth depending on your size of your image and you make sure it's a white background you're not putting on a white t-shirt or a white shirt otherwise the background will just emerge you will not you'll be as if you are just with your neck only so you make sure you're putting something color when the ears are properly aligned in the center for the shoulders 
you can see his shoulders are not complete see there's there's a gap there and this side is like it's up but that is not uh, a big deal you just focus that the ears are equal on and in the center of the oval and the chin and the head are well aligned so the rest of the things are okay you can go ahead and crop the picture and you, you have to save it on your computer let's hit save you go back to the application and proceed to submit the picture you just crop cropped peak you submit it and then you go down now the mailing address in no situation the DV lottery organizers will send you a mail to your postal address but it's just useful for interview to maybe choice of location of interview if you win for further processing they will not really post you any document or any forms because everything nowadays is online the forms you fill it online if you win for further processing but this information is used as to know where sh should be comfortable for you to go for an interview the country where you live today Even if you are in the United States, you can still play the DV lottery. Maybe as a student or not a permanent resident, as a worker, and you need a green card, you can still go through this means to integrate yourself. To With the email text boxes, you cannot really copy and paste the email on those text boxes. You have to type them out. If you try to copy and paste, it will not work. Choose your educational level. Married or unmarried. Several options to show your current marital status. legally separated then you are required to in to optionally enter this spouse information you got separated from
Maybe you're unmarried. It's good and fine. You don't need it. Just proceed. Number of children. <laughs> hey, seventy-two, seventy-eight. No, I have minus two children. <laughs> Are there any minus children? <laughs> zero, zero. Or oh, twins? So you try to write twins. So you must put by the number, just zero, if you don't have any. Because we spent a lot of time on that form, you see you can't reach the page. There's a timeout action on that page. So when you're filling your form, you want to be fast. So we're going to use the back button to start all over again. This time around we're going to be fast that the timeout on the page doesn't block us from submitting our our lottery so if you have a timeout don't don't panic you just need to restart the submission Signal of the month and the day. Most countries have the day first before the month, but with the US, they have the day in the middle and the month comes first. Passport information. The thing should almost be the same as the name you entered above. Date of expiry. Select the country. For the crop picture again. The postal address. Whatever it is the town or the city or district or country you are in, just input your details for mailing address.
you in the country where you live today the email like I said before you need to type it you can copy and paste an email in the, on this field if you try to copy you allow you copy to paste it paste is not there it doesn't work forcing you to type it unmarried number of children zero this time around we are a bit fast on the page so it's not going to block us from continuing oops at least one data validation error occurred and we forgot to select our country country where you were born forgot to select our Cameroon no matter where, what country you are in uh, you were born in you need to select that one then you submit it continue now if you have another missed you, you preview this is part one in case there's a primary applicant if you have a secondary applicant and if you are married, you don't you do not need to use the back button of the browser to go back to correct something. You don't use that one. What you use is go back to part one. If you click that one, it takes you back to the form and where you can make some adjustment if needed. If not, you can continue. And if you have reviewed everything is okay, you can hit submit, which is at the bottom, the green button. And voila, we have our DV submitted for 2021. The entry has been confirmed. We need to print this document and keep it. What is most important in this document is a confirmation number. If you're using Windows like I do, you have the sniffing tool. You can take it. You can sniff out a portion of the information and save it as a picture. So that is the confirmation number which is the most important and it was a success so no other once you successfully submit an application for a DV lottery in that session you must not submit another application as a primary applicant you can submit an application as a secondary applicant under your wife but you cannot submit to you cannot appear two times as a primary applicant Sure you read why I highlight for you guys so 
so you will not receive any selection notification once you win you just need to check the results on september 30th between the may 5th the 5th of may 2020 to september 30th 2021 that's when the results will be out and for disqualification if you submit another application again you'll be disqualified so this submission the results will come out between 5th of may 